We're here today at Freedom High School. We are sorting fish larvae with a representative from George Mason University. The samples are specifically ichthyoplankton. There's something fishy about this lesson. We got a bunch of samples from George Mason. These samples actually all come from Neabsco Creek, which is pretty cool because a lot of students know where Neabsco Creek is. They have this creek that runs in their backyard. And so the students are taking small little parts of the samples and they're looking under dissecting microscopes to identify any fish, larva, and egg. And you take it onto the microscope. Once you look in there, you're just moving it around trying to find a specific type of specimen. If they do find a fish larva or egg, they're going to use a little pair of tweezers and they are going to take that egg or larva and place it into a small vial, which eventually will go back to George Mason where they will identify what type of fish has been returning to these creeks to spawn. It's really important they can see what makes up creek water. Because I know a lot of times too, you'll look at a creek water and it looks pristine and clear, but then you put these in and you look and you're like, oh, there's actually a lot of stuff floating in the creek, even if you can't see it all that much. It took me four tries to find something. I went through three different containers with samples until I finally found a larvae. And as soon as I found it, it was a little bit of a rush of excitement. Maybe something not so significant for a lot of people, but finding something where everybody else is trying to look is really nice. It's important for them to have these experiences so they can see firsthand, their eyes are open to how litter can impact aquatic life. So I'm hoping that the students will gain from this experience um, a way that they can connect nature and their environment, which will encourage them to be environmental stewards.